Good morning, sunshine. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to introduce you a fall makeup look. It is a soft clam mop smoky eyes. I know it's a very long name, but those are all of the features in this makeup look. I think it's very beautiful and suitable for fall because it's neutral and cool toned. And for anyone who wants to rock this look um, at the night time, I recommend you emphasize your crease with more eyeshadow, um, add more dark color as the outer V of your eyes like a true intense black and then add a bow wings eyeliner and bow falsy then you will have a very dark smoky eyes but still very glamorous. Actually I did my eyebrows already before I recorded this video because you know it takes me forever to do it so I will put all of the products that, that I use for my eyebrows in the description box below so yeah if you love this look today then please keep on watching so first thing first I apply my favorite eye primer potion from Urban Decay in the shade Aiden and this is a yellowish pigmented primer that I use to cancel the uneven on my eyelids and help the eyeshadows last longer. So next, I'm using uh, the beige eyeshadow in the Tartlet palette to increase the longevity and help eyeshadow blend it easy and evenly on this skin. So next, and next color is the Caregiver cool tone pink eyeshadow and I use brush from equal tool to plan all over my crease next I'm using the color from ColourPop the color Bill it is a very cool tone mauve color is a perfect shade for my crease and again I'm using the MAC 224 to plan all over my crease the next shade that I use for my crease is the color Natural Beauty from the Tartlet palette again. This is a cool tone mauve color but darker than the color I use from ColourPop. Then I use the color Unexpected from Makeup Geek. <laughs> again, this is a mauve pink but in a darker shade. I use uh, the brush from Zoeva 231 Lux Pet Crease. This is a very defined brush because I want to emphasize my crease with a darker mauve color. Then I use the color SWF from Urban Decay. This is a shimmery, pale pink, cool tone color. I use it to blend all over my eyelid. Again, I use the color Natural Beauty in the Tartlet palette to blend my crease again because I want to color the color from Urban Decay and the color on my crease completely blend together. Then I move to the color Best Friend. This color is a very dark, not too dark, but um, a dark purple color, very beautiful. Finally, I'm using the color Bombshell from the Tartlet palette to emphasize my, the outer V of my eyes. Okay, so the next step is the eyeliner. I'm using the Tattoo Eyeliner from Kat Von D in Trooper. This is my ultimate favorite eyeliner because it's very easy to use. I can make any kind of eyeliner with this um, eyeliner. I can make very bold eyeliner or even a very natural thin eyeliner. I use a fan brush to clean off my under eyes. Oh, and I used uh, the eyeliner from L'Oreal to tight line my waterline, upper waterline. Next, I move on to my favorite eyelash mascara that this is 
um, curl lashes from Benefit. As you see, it's curl my lash, so I don't have to use my eyelash curler. Then I'm using the Ardell Natural in number uh, 110. I love this eyelash because it's very natural, but still give me like a bigger eye. After I apply my falsy, I want to tie lie again and make my eyeliner perfect by filled up all of the blank on the falsy. Okay, I'm done with the eyes, so now I'm moving on with my face. The first thing I apply on my face is the face primer from Makeup Forever. I use two products from Makeup Forever. The first one is the base smoothing primer. The second is nourishing primer. Then I apply my foundation. This is Nude Air from Dior in the number medium 30. I apply it by the Morphe E6. This is the perfect brush for applying foundation. So next, I'm using uh, the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Peach to cancel my under eye circle with the brush Morphe M334. This is perfect brush for concealer or any small area. Then I apply the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer to highlight my forehead, my chin, and my under eye. I'm using Morphe E6 again to blend it out. Then this is the next part that I really like that is contouring my face. I'm using um, two color, the yellowish color and more beige color to highlight my under eyes, my on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead and my chin. Then I move on with the cooler color in the palette to contour my face. To contour my nose, I'm keep using uh, the cooler color and with the brush from ground. And I'm using the warmer color to bronzing my face. Then I'm using the blush from our class. This is Ambient Blush in the shade Ethereal Close. Is again a very cool tone palping that I really love for natural look. Then I'm using the Color Pop highlighter in the shade Hippo. This is a lilac highlighter, very beautiful and natural on your skin. And I'm using my finger to apply it on my cheek, on the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose because I think the best way to apply ColourPop highlighter is by using hand or my beauty blender. Then I highlight with the waterline with a wet and wine um, eyeshadow pencil. Next, I'm using the brush A36 from Morphe to apply the opal from Becca on, on the brow bone. Then I'm using the same brush to apply opal in the inner corner of my eyes to make my eyes pop and bigger. And finally, I'm using again 223 from Zoeva and use the color Natural Beauty to smoke out my uh, lower lashes. Next, I'm using the concealer from MAC in the color NC30 to cancel all of the color on my lip line. Then I go to the lip line from NARS to line my lip. Finally, I apply Anna from NARS Audacious. This is my favorite color ever because this is a cool tone mauve. I think it's perfect for everyday or more dramatic makeup look. So yeah, that's all for the makeup look today. I hope you guys like this makeup look. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel if you have not already. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!